Okay, shiplap. So here we have the basement. Sorry for the low lighting. Um, this was originally a rag wall. And of course it's the old 1970s wood paneling. And so instead of ripping out the paneling and doing drywall, and of course I love fixer upper, so I'm doing shiplap. So I just want to show you, this is an underlayment, which is um, paneling that you can get. I get mine at Home Depot. Come on in my area here. So the underlayment sheets are red on one side. They're eight feet long. And then they're this plain light pine color on the other side. So they're very thin. So I would say a quarter inch thin. And this is what I'm using. Proper shiplap or plywood planking would be a lot heavier to work with and um, wouldn't be as smooth. This is very, very smooth. So it should paint very easily. These, I had them cut at Home Depot in six inch wide strips. So back into my room, I already have three quarter round at the top and baseboard at the bottom, which I was willing to rip out if necessary. But it turns out that the this is thin enough, sorry, I'm doing this one-handed, that it fits very nicely into the door jam, and it slides, I'm gonna do it vertically, it fits very nicely and joins up with the quarter round, so no need to remove it. And with the baseboard, once we get down there, it just sits right on top very nicely with the baseboard at the bottom. So I'm not having to remove those. I'm doing um, two nickels as spacing. And what I've done is I've taped two nickels together. And that's what I'm doing as I go along the nickels fit in. Now your first board I'm going top down so I don't have a wonky one at the top where it can be seen. So if there's a like a half cut of three or four inches at the bottom, then it won't really be seen. So the first board is there, it's eight feet. And then there's the seam there. And, and so then what you do is you measure to the end, which was I think about five feet-ish, and you cut a piece and you put it in there. So that piece you cut five feet off, so you still have three feet left. That forms row two, okay? So that's how you do it. And there's the seam of row two. So you want this to look natural. You don't want your seams to line up. So if you cut it that way, that's the way it was actually done originally for a true shiplap, then your seams will never line up and you don't have to guess. So there's the next eight foot piece and it goes along and it ends I don't know, right there and then there's like a few feet there. So that would have been cut and then the leftover came to form row three and you can see there that one is longer and the seam is right there and they don't line up. So if you keep repeating that, none of your seams will line up and you'll have a natural look to them. And I'm using the um, air driller. I bought this one because I knew I couldn't do the project in a few hours, so I bought one. And it's called Porter Cable. It was 200 bucks and it came with the gun. And it's a six pound um, machine. And it has two gauges on it. I'll go into detail on that in another video. But basically the one gauge on the left tells you how much pressure is actually available in the tank for you to use. Think of it like a scuba diver, how much air you have to breathe. And the one on the right is how much power of pressure will come out the gun when I squeeze to hammer a nail. So it's set at 80 for these one and a quarter inch nails that I'm using that are 18 in, in gauge in diameter. So that's just the thickness of the nails. So that's that, okay? So I'll, I'll do more on this as I go. When I'm done, of course, it'll be painted white.